Here we've got to look at adding resources to Clipper. So we're going to go into collect mode. I've got a URL from an open university video. The address is in the user guide. Post it in here. Oops, I've got a space there, so I'll just take it back a bit. So that's the right address. Click on go. And it won't let me go there, which is correct. It's got to force me to download it to save it locally. So I'm going to click on this. Because remember, this is a progressive file, not a streaming file. And here we can see it being downloaded. It's a real, relatively small file. When it's downloaded, I can browse to it in the folder which uh, Clipper creates automatically called Clipper Downloads, which should be on the desktop. Here we are, clip a downloaded file, so open that. Here's the downloaded file. Click on that. And now the address up here is the local path to that file. So Clip has made me download this in order to view it. So now if I click on go. The video comes up. This is from the Coast program. I've decided I like this video. I'm going to pause it and add it to my resources. It comes in here. And here's a little bug. Uh, the first progressive file that comes in, you have to click once again to make it play. And here you can see I've got the metadata which I can edit. It automatically picks up the name of the, the file from the address here. Uh, I can type a description in here. I can add what I like. Here it gives me the address where the video is stored. And here's the date. And here's the duration. So I've decided I like that, so I'm going to save those changes. It'll start playing again, I'll just pause it. And you'll see it's kept my little alterations here. So that's uh, a progressive download. I'm now going to try and get a video from YouTube, X Factor. So I'm going to uh, just bring that up, copy the URL. Paste that in here go. Here it's loading. Now unlike the progressive files, uh, this will play in Clipper. Now I've decided I do like this. I'm going to add it to my resources. You should be able to choose any resource that's in YouTube. Uh, and we're using YouTube as an example of a streaming source and we're using the YouTube API to do this. With other streaming sources we'd have to get permission uh, in, in a similar manner. So we've got to add this resource and it comes down in here. It starts playing automatically which is annoying, we'll fix that later. And here you can see the resource properties for this YouTube video. And again I can edit this, it picks up the address automatically, the date, the time, and I'll save this. And that's adding resources.